Hello my crafty friends, this is Jackie and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back and watching my videos. Guys, I just had to share this with you. Um, I made this purchase on uh, Wednesday. Um, just before Thanksgiving. Uh, I went to Barnes & Noble, Manhattan and I just, I, I found a few stamp sets that were available. But I've been eyeing this one for quite a while. I've always been uh, a lover of Thomas Kincaid's work. He does, or oh, he did, he used to do an amazing job um, drawing uh, scenic scenes like uh, Christmas cottages. It's just absolutely gorgeous, the work that he, that he did. And unfortunately, he passed away a few years ago, but um, his, his work just lives on. Um, so I'm not sure if, um, for those of you who are uh, or who know Thomas Kincaid's work, I hope that you go and uh, and uh, pick up the stamp set because it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I believe this uh, once this is gone, that's it. This is an exclusive 192 piece card making kit. So it comes with magazines, it comes with stamps, and embossing folder, toppers, and pattern paper and everything. So um, if you haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, okay, so let me show you. It came in this box. Okay, I opened the box already. It came in this box. And um, it was a bit pricey. But again, we are talking about Thomas Kincaid. So um, this was $25.00. And they had other magazines, but I figure if I'm gonna get this one, that's it. That that's all I'm gonna get. Um, the other ones I could always catch on um, later on. So um, let me show you. This is the 68 page idea magazine, and by idea I mean it gives you projects and ideas of what you could do uh, with the products that come in this uh, kit. You could say. So, um, just to show you a few, this is the, the Painters of Light. So, I read his little story, and since a, a young age, uh, he always wanted to draw. He always wanted to be a painter, and uh, he didn't have a lot of luck uh, while growing up. But um, one day, um, he, 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 um, um, after he got married, um, him and his wife, they took all their uh, savings and invested in an art gallery. And from that moment on, everything just skyrocketed for him. So um, his paintings started to sell. Um, he was asked to do other paintings for NASCAR, uh, 50th running of the Daytona. He also painted the 2002 Winter Olympic Games in uh, Salt Lake City. I mean... He did a fantastic job, and uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, at on on 2012, and at a very young age, he was only 54 years old. But he left behind a legacy through his work here. And look at that; these are some of his paintings right here. And I've always loved these types of uh, scenic paint paintings or drawings. I just love them. Look at that. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So that's a little story of him. And then these are some of the things that come in here. Here's um, a project you could do. And here they give you hints and tips. And they tell you um, the supplies that you need to make the, the projects. And they give you step-by-step -step instructions. So you, so you can see right there. So I'm just going to quickly uh, give you a little pass through the magazine here so you can see. Okay, just a little quick review right there. And there goes another scene right there. Isn't that gorgeous? It's absolutely gorgeous. And then you have, of course, your ads for magazines. Um, here's a little story of Joanna Sheen. 
and I just love 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 these magazines from the UK they're so adorable look at this scene right here look at that love the color in the background there the sunset or sundown it's just absolutely gorgeous and then of course it shows you other stamps that uh, might come out or that are already out and I did actually see this stamp set at Barnes & Noble, but I didn't pick it up because I said if I'm going to spend $25, I'm going to just get the, the one for now. And if I see this again next time, I will pick it up. I do love the little boot there with the little candy canes and Santa Claus hanging and the wreath. And then you have your stockings and the reindeer and the tree. It's just beautiful. So like I said, I mean, there are certain magazines that I do pick up. I don't always pick up every single magazine, just the ones that catch my eyes and that I find um, worth buying. So um, here's a few other projects there. And then, of course, they sell um, products, they sell dyes and stamp sets. Um, so you can always purchase that. So that's that. And then let me show you this. This is the um, A4 sheet of 11 coordinating scene and sentiment stamps. Oh, no, this is, no this, these are the uh, pattern papers, uh, Thomas Kincaid scenes and toppers. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so here's some of his work right here that you could cut out and make cards with. There are the sentiments to go with it. Look how beautiful the paper is. Okay, there's some more scenes right here that you could cut out. There's more paper. I love the little tears in the bottom. Look how cute this is. Gorgeous. Look at that paper. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And there's some sentiments right there. Look at this scene right there. It's just beautiful. Look at this one. It's got a nice church background right there. It's just beautiful. So yeah, so these are some of the the, the papers that come in here. So just to show you a little bit right there. Oh, and look at this, guys. Look at this paper right here. Beautiful paper with the bows. I wanted to show you this here. I just see this myself now, and look at this. Beautiful, beautiful. You could use these as postcards as well. So that's some of the things that you get in this um, kit. And then, without further ado, let me show you the stamp. First of all, the, these are the dies that come in this kit. You have the Christmas tree, some um, snowflakes, stars that you could use to... Uh, Adorn the tree, and then you have a little snowman here. So those are your seven dies right there. And then here's the stamp. Let me see if I could get a piece of white paper here to show you the uh, the background. And I found a piece of white paper right there. And then you can see some of the scenes. Look at how beautiful this is. Gorgeous. And then you have these beautiful sentiments right there. Here's, this one's beautiful as well. And there's a family right there building a snowman. And then you have your little snowman here, your tree, some more sentiments, and some more scenes. Look at that. It's just beautiful, 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 beautiful. And this one here. And this one is the one that I used to make my first card. I used this scene and this sentiment here. So let me show you my first card using my Thomas Kincaid kit. And there it is, guys. What do you think? I think it came out pretty well. I used some crayons, Crayola crayons, to... Uh, color in the, the house and the trees and the, oh it's just absolutely I love the way this card came out beautiful sentiment also so that's it guys 
So if you haven't checked out Barnes and Noble, today is Black Friday, so go and check it out. And if you find it, buy it. And uh, that's it for now, guys. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know that I am thankful for my YouTube friends here, for, for all the friends, for your friendship, for your support, for your love um, throughout my um, my run here on YouTube and also through my uh, personal life. I want to thank you all for being there for me and supporting me and for showing me love. And um, I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and may you always be blessed with love, happiness, and health uh, now and always. Thank you so much guys for watching. If, you, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Until then, bye-bye.